Oh, can't be having a cheeky Jaffa. Now, I was thinking about the great Jaffa cake debate recently. And, well, I feel like all Jaffa cakes are in a quantum state. A superposition, if you may. But people assume the position, they're split with division, it's either biscuit or cake, they say. Well, I say nay. Such a binary view is just bound to askew. It's in the name, it's just a name. Who are we to even listen to? So let's reframe. What with modern science, surely we can strike an alliance and put an end to this biscuit or cake game. And so he claims, when in a pack, a Jaffa's wave function is stacked, resulting in a multi-Jaffa state. But when it's removed from its packet, the Jaffa's wave function, we collapse it, and only a single Jaffa state remains. Now I could devolve further, denoting the difference of brioche and bread, and pancakes and crepes, and you can have them with lemon and sugar, or ham and brie, or the Italian's pedantic cooking culture, which means if something's made by a different chef or in a different location, it's practically a different recipe. But I'm ahead of me. You see, the quantum state of a Jaffa cake is our true trajectory. All Jaffas in a pack are entangled. Imagine that they're all mates. Their states aren't independent. On each other, they relate. But in case you missed it, don't worry, I'll restate. All Jaffas can be biscuits, but also they can be cake.